Welcome back, everyone, and uh, apologies for the uh, interruption. Uh, just wait for a few more people to come online. And I just want to go through a few settings. Hopefully that is clear for you. Turn the whiteboard upside down. Get rid of all that writing. Comfortably, the worst uh, uh, interface menu of anything I've ever, <laughs> ever seen. The bloody eye chargers, absolutely hideous things. Um, but hopefully, uh, I can help you out on on a few areas. So I'm going to plug the old lipo in and hope. Hopefully you are able to see the screen there. Looks like you can from my iPad where I'm watching it. Let me know. I don't think I can go too much closer without catastrophe on the, uh, on the webcam. Let me you see that clear enough give us a thumbs up if that's all okay with you yeah it looks like you can see yeah okay great super so first things first um obviously when you've got it charged in you always hit your start stop button um and When you um, when you want to adjust some things in the in your lipo, so start button. This is the menu with the various different setups that you've got on the uh, on the charger. If you then press the tab button, what it then does is it it puts like a red square around the box. You can then scroll down and you can access manage this allows you to get in and start to change some of the features so edit has come up and it then allows you to go in here and start to adjust that is one way of getting into this menu um, so first things first let let's change uh, the charge so just to go back you can see that it's moving around the red box, as it were, and it's now highlighted the charge storage just discharge cycle. I'm going to click that and click it again. And now I'm into the LiPo charge setup menu. And the LiPo charge setup menu is where you're going to change the end volt uh, for the HV or the regular so you've got charge current at the top charge mode is normal balance uh, the charge end current that changes if you change this set here but then the change cell voltage the end this is quite a big one um and there's t there's three features on this charger that irritate the hell out of me because i've never really worked out how to uh find them uh, and so like the Sanwa uh, controller, I've sat down and kind of gone through the manual and looked at all the various uh, ways in, uh, around this, this charger. So you turn up at a national on a Saturday and what happens is you charge your LiPo up and invariably it's really hard to time when you charge it up goes in the car and then goes up to you go up to tech let's say uh you want to make sure that your lipo has got plenty of oomph in it plenty of charge in it now we you need to charge up to 4.20 now when you've charged up your lipo and then you take it off and then you put it on a voltmeter 
what might not happen is that it comes up with 4.20 in your lipo it might come up at 4.18 this is the part or this is the area where you're going to be able to adjust that to charge it to its full capacity within the rules of the brca that's the uk body so you click it and you're you're able to therefore change the volts now you can hear that as soon as you go above 4.2 and it goes to 4.21 there's a little hazard sign here that says you're going to burn your house down now of course we have an hv we have a high voltage lipo so you can within the guidelines of this lipo charge it all the way up to 4.35 you then set that click it once so it's now set at 4.35 go back and then what you'd need to do is click across and save now that's set up on 4.35 now you can't see it in this menu this is your your usual charge menu so I'm just going to get myself a lipo sack just to be a good boy and put it in here. And then what I'm going to do, <clears throat> I'm going to charge it. So you've got your charge there. You've got the milliamps, how the capacity of your lipo. So how many uh milliamps you want it to set to so if you've got an 8000 milliamps you want to set that to 8000 this is a biggie 3.7 you want to make sure that that's set to 1s and then you've got your 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 c rating now you can change your c rating by pressing i always get status and tab mixed up but you press the tab button again in this menu and you allow, it then allows you to scroll over and change these various charges. And you can do that with, with all of them. So if you wanted to change your storage setup, you press the tab button again and you pull it across here and you could change what you wanted to store your lipos at. So if you wanted to store them at, at, at 3.6 or 3.8 or 3.9, you'd then be able to click the 3.9 the 3.7 and then you could go up and down actually it won't let you go lower than 3.7 for a, for a, a 1s like and the same goes for your discharge so if you want your discharge and you want to change the rate that you discharge your lipo at you'd click on oh, you click on the tab button go across and because this discharge is highlighted it's allowing you to change uh, these various uh, volts of, of discharge. Now you can see there's a number on the screen that I discharge my lipos to, but I'm not saying it. That's just what was on there when I was setting it up. So I've got 8,200. It knows that that's the size of the capacity of the lipo. It's got cells 1S, which is important. Discharge current is 3C. Now it, it with the with the um, with the eye charger. It will allow you to set it higher, but actually it doesn't go any more than uh, 25. It doesn't go more than 3C. Because one of the things is that it gets really hot. And if you if you do discharge at a high rate, one of the problems is that you uh, you do burn out your, uh, your, uh, your duo. So James is saying if your charger is running the V2, firmware there is an hv profile you can say yeah so this has got that hv profile set up yeah um in fact let's let's just check that but i'm just gonna because i think that most people know this menu um but i'll come i'll, I'll just check that out in a minute james um so you can see that as soon as it turns into 3.1 c you're then over the limit uh but again it's discharged so it doesn't really matter your discharge voltage is 3.2 and then you press start and off, off she would go. Now that's the that's the LIHV uh, high voltage setup that it's got to. So in this, the, the default, the storage is 3.9. The discharge is auto, ignore, setup, uh, the charge rate, you know, all of that stuff 
all of a sudden looks very different and it looks confusing. So for me, that's why I didn't use that. I just stuck with the lipo and just altered it from there because all I actually need to do is just change uh, uh, the, uh, the 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 3.7 to uh, sorry the 4.2 to 4.35. So um, for me, the only thing that I would do is just change that. It's as simple. Uh, the last thing you want to do is getting confused uh, from jumping, you know, perish the, the thought that you jump and click the HV button and you've not got an HV lipo and you overcharge it and something goes wrong. If you manually are changing the HV and not, I think that's probably a, a nice way to go. Um, so that's that. I think another, another key feature uh, on this charger is... And it is uh, here that I want to find uh, there is a keep charging after done which is brilliant because what happens is if you've charged your lipo up and then all of a sudden you're not quite ready to go out to race what it will do it will keep your lipo topped up until you're ready to go out to race so this keep charging after done is really a, a good little feature for you to use for when you're racing um, I'm going to endeavour to try and walk you through how I got there. So we go lipo, then we're going to go tab, highlight the box, click the charge. Oh no! Fucking menus. It's just there we go. So when I'm in, when I've got the when I've got the box highlighted and its charge is up, press status. Then I want to highlight the charge box. Press charge. So I'm going to go back. So the box is highlighted, charge is up. Press charge, and then this menu comes up, and then scroll down to advanced. And then keep is down at the bottom left hand corner. I mean, how? I mean, it's just the most hideous menu uh, operating system I've ever seen on anything. Uh, so, anyway, so that's where that is. And that's really, that's a really useful uh, feature, which I don't think many people use unless you're someone like Partner uh, or people that are racing all the time. So, uh, so that's that's the eye charger. So uh, I've just shown you how you can change the various charge rates, your discharge rates, set up uh, HV on there, charge to that different rate, and also uh, the keep option as well. So there are uh, some really key uh, functions uh, on this eye charger duo 406. Um, and I think that pretty much covers it all. Any questions uh, while we're here? But uh, I've taken up pretty much enough of your evening. Um, hope you're all doing well out there and uh, looking after yourselves. We're on the home stretch now, folks. We're going to be racing, as far as I'm concerned, I think we're going to be racing mid to end of March. I think we're going to get back out there and get going. Um, the On Road podcast series is going to be going as soon as we get the go ahead. Uh, we're going to be putting on those uh, meetings. Uh, so stay tuned for that. You'll see that on the Facebook page. Um, and uh, wishing you all a great weekend. Stay safe and look forward to seeing you all trackside soon. And don't forget, subscribe to the channel. Click the like button. Share with your pals. Let's, uh, let's keep growing the hobby. All the best.